geometry, we need two points to write the equation of a line. But what if we only have one point and we are tasked to write the equation of that tangent line? This is Dr. E and let's answer this calculus problem. So let's say we are working with a function y is equal to x squared, which is a parabola opening upward. If we have this point right here at negative one and one, and at point two one, we'll be able to draw a line using geometry. And for this point, we have negative one and negative one squared. And for the other point, we have two and two squared, given that the function is on y is equal to x squared. So to write this equation of a line, also known as a secant line, we'll be using this famous formula in geometry or in algebra, which is the point slope form. Given a point, we have y minus y sub one equals to the slope multiplied by x minus x sub one, wherein Finding the slope is finding the change in y and the change all over the change in x. And the change in, change in y is measured by y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which is in this case 2 squared minus negative 1 squared all over the change in x, which is 2 minus negative 1. Using algebra, we know that the slope is at 3 over 3 wherein the slope is positive. That's why the line is increasing. With a slope of 1, picking either point A or point B, and in this case, I'll be picking point two and two squared, or two and four, to write our point slope form. So by substitution, we'll have y minus negative, or y minus two squared equals one times x minus two. So this is now our point slope form, and by Simplifying this, we'll have y minus 4 is equal to x minus 2, which is already an equation of a line, but if we want to go further and simplify this into the slope-intercept form, our equation will be y is equal to x plus 2. So now we know the equation of a line, or that secant line at point negative 1 and 1 and 2 and 4 four, which is y is equal to x plus two. Now this is geometry and we can easily write the equation of a line given two points, but what if we are only tasked to write the equation of a line knowing that we only have a point on this function y is equal to x squared, which is at one and one. Now this special line in geometry is what we call as the secant line because we have two distinct points that make up the line y is equal to x plus two with a slope of one. In calculus, we'll be able to write the equation of a line even though we only have one point on that function and we call this the tangent line. So at point one one, if we draw a line that will touch that green point on y is equal to x squared, we'll be able to form this line that we can call as a tangent line. And to use calculus, we'll be able to write the equation of that tangent line in our graph. So how are we going to write the equation of this tangent line using calculus? We know that in geometry, we need point slope form, a point and a slope to be able to write the equation of the line. And in this case, we know that we have a single point, which is one, one, but how are we going to find the slope of this point without the other point that will help us in finding the slope of that equation of a line? So from geometry, we know that finding a slope is change in y and change in x, but how are we going to find the difference between two points if we only have a single point? This is where derivative is going to come into play. And this is one of the many applications of the derivative. So by finding the derivative of y is equal to x squared, which is y prime, we'll be able to find 2x as the equation of our slope for that particular function. So what it means is that in any point on y is equal to x squared or on the parabola opening upward, the slope of that point is going to be at 2x. So depending on the value of x, our slope will also change. But one thing is for sure, the equation of that slope is going to be at 2x. So by using this concept of our derivative as our formula for the slope at x equal to 1, we'll be able to find the slope of that tangent line. And that slope of that tangent line is simply 2 times 1 or 
2. So now that we have the slope of our tangent line, which is 2, and we also have a point, which is 1, 1, we can now use the point-slope form to write the equation of a line. So for the point-slope form, by plugging the value of point 1, 1, x is 1, and y is 1 with a slope of 2, our point-slope form of the equation of a line, or that specific tangent line, is y minus 1 equals 2 times x minus 1. And if you want to go further and convert the point-slope form into the slope-intercept form, just solve for y equation in this particular point-slope form, and we'll be able to generate the equation of our tangent line in the slope-intercept form at y is equal to 2x plus 1. Now, let's take this opportunity to observe the point of the secant line and the tangent line. So notice that the secant line and the tangent line is not parallel, so that means their slope is different, and also you will notice that the slope of our tangent line is steeper than the slope of our secant line, and the reason or numerical proof for that would be the value of the slope. So notice that the slope of our tangent line is at 2, and the slope of our secant line is 1, so the higher the value of the slope, the steeper the slope will be. So that's how you should be able to visualize the derivative of function, or one of the many visuals of the derivative of function when you're working with calculus. Now let's try to answer this particular problem wherein we're going to be writing the equation of a tangent line given the function x squared plus 2x minus 5 at point x is equal to 1. So we have y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 5. By finding the derivative of y, we'll be able to find the equation of the slope of our tangent line. So we'll have 2x plus 2 is the equation of the slope of our tangent line. And by substituting the value of x, which is equal to 1, which means at point x is equal to 1, the slope of that tangent line will be at, will be at 4. So now that we have the value of the slope, we also have the x-coordinate, which is 1. All we have to do is to find the value of y by plugging in the original function y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 5 at x is equal to 1. So the value of x is equal to 1, where the value of y is equal to negative 5. Now we're ready to write the equation of our tangent line at point x is equal to 1 by using the point-slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. By plugging in the value of y1 and x1 by our point 1 and negative 5, we'll have or y is equal to negative 2, not negative 5. So we'll have y plus 2 is equal to 4 times x minus 1. And this is now our point slope form, which is already the equation of our tangent line. But if we want to simplify this further, we'll be able to convert this into the slope intercept form by distributing 4 to our x minus 1. We'll have y plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 4 minus 2 on both sides, and we'll have y is equal to 4x minus 6, which is the slope-intercept form of our tangent line. So in geometry, we need two points to write the equation of a line, and in calculus, we only need one point, and we'll be able to also write the equation of a line using the derivatives. This is Dr. E, and see you again next time. Bye!